Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with my monthly favorites video. This month, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna be applying all my favorite products for this month on my face through the duration of this entire video and explain to you guys in depth what makes me love the products. I have quite a few things that aren't actual makeup things that I can actually put on right now, but I do wanna give quick shout outs to a few different things that I've been loving that are not makeup related, but they are beauty related. So anyways, let's get started. First up, it is the Clinique Super Primer. I I've told you guys so many times why I'm in love with this primer. This primer is literally, in my opinion, please remember it's my opinion, everyone has different opinions, different tastes, and that's okay, different strokes paint the world, remember that. In my opinion, this is the world's best primer. Especially for those of you with dry skin, well any skin type can use it because it's a universal primer, but especially if you have dry skin, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. Even on days when I don't feel like moisturizing my skin, which is very few far in between, I can use this and it still hydrates my skin enough to where my skin doesn't look dry or patchy at all. It definitely does an amazing job of prolonging the wear of your makeup and it also does a great job of concealing the look of pores, which if you are like me, you have big pores, pores are like the bane of your existence, this is going to be your best friend as far as makeup. This retails for $27, at least that's why I paid for it. I got mine at the Bonton, but I'm sure you can order it pretty much anywhere Clinique is sold. Like guys, this is like the last little bit right here. Like literally, there's none left. products I really don't think need introduction here on my channel at least you guys should know if you've been here for a while but my favorite holy grail ride or die foundation are the foundations in the Maybelline fit me line you guys I've searched literally everywhere for the perfect foundation for me I personally believe that the Maybelline fit me line is incredible not only does the Maybelline fit me line have one of the biggest shade varieties in the drugstore but both of these formulas are literally incredible and now for me as someone with dry skin that is also sort of on the combination side, using both together is literally amazing. favorite is another drugstore product. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Dual Ended Contour Stick. It has a contour shade on one side. This one, by the way, is in light medium, and this is still a little bit too dark for my skin tone. However, the highlight side is my favorite, and I'm almost done, like down to the last little nub. I've been using this over the past few months. What I love most about this, besides the price, is how easy it is to control and how easy it is to work with. my under eye. I have obviously been loving the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette in the shade 750A Caramel Toffee. When you guys first saw this palette, the only shade that was missing was the contouring shade just because the contour shade in this palette was literal perfection for my skin tone. It had the perfect amount of like grayish tones to it to where it literally almost directly mimicked the natural shadows your face would have on it if they were facing a direct light source. Like it looked so so natural, it was so beautiful, I loved it so much, obviously. And quite frankly, I didn't get into using the actual light shade in this palette up until a few months ago when I started to set my under eye with it, when I discovered how good it was at setting my under eye. Like, I just love the way it looks. Like, you can tell right here, I've already set this eye, you can see how much more smooth this side looks compared to this one, you can see the wrinkles a lot more. Like, this powder is incredible, I love it so, so much. To set my entire face, I'm gonna be using another Wet n Wild product. This is the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder, the Photo Focused Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade A21E Warm Light. And how I apply this is with my Wet n Wild Powder Brush. As you guys can tell, I clearly love Wet n Wild a lot. And believe it or not, that is not the last Wet n Wild product we're gonna be using in today's video. <laughs> I pretty much just put this everywhere else to bring a little bit of color back in case you look a little ghostly. I love this so much is because it does an amazing job of adding an extra layer of coverage almost and I just love how flawless my skin looks after I use all these products so yeah that's why they're here in this video girl. for contouring I have to give it to the physicians formula butter bronzer this is an incredible bronzer when I first bought this bronzer I was very intimidated by it I don't know why and now that I have used it for a few months I just I love the way it looks on my skin 
I love it so much because it adds just enough color without making me look orange because there's nobody in this motherfucking household trying to look like Donald Trump, bitch. For highlighting, I have two different products I have been in love with. I have been using these two products more than any other highlighting product in my collection. So the two palettes I have for you guys today and the palette I'm going to be using for today's highlight. This first one is the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette. There is no way that I can say too many good things about this palette. I love it so much. Just to give you an idea of how amazing and pigmented these shades are, we're going to go ahead and swatch a few. So I'm going to swatch Vivid, Allure, and Ethereal. Ethereal? Is it Ethereal or Ethereal? Girl, so we're going to swatch those right here. Like, come on guys so beautiful so creamy so pigmented for today's look i'm going to be using some more reddish eyeshadows for my look for today i'm going to go into shade vivid which is right here and we're going to put this shit everywhere girl palette in this collection is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette which you guys saw in my comparison video between the Alchemist palette and this palette. As you guys saw in that video, there were quite a few shades from the Alchemist palette that were duped from shades in this palette. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below for you guys. Believe it or not, we are almost done with this entire makeup look. The only thing we have next is now the eyeshadows, my mascara, my lippy, and my liner of the month, and then we're on to the other beauty products that aren't really makeup related. So. So yeah, let's continue. So for eyeshadows of the past few months actually, I picked these up a few months ago and I've been using them so much ever since. These are the ColourPop Pressed Powder Eyeshadows and I am in love with these eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. The color selection, I mean it's getting better because they keep coming out with more shades. So there's more of a variety which I totally plan on going shopping probably today for some more shades. Even though, tell me how the fuck I literally, guys, I should have been hired by Voldemort to hide one of his fucking seven horcruxes because I lost my fucking card, my credit card. It's in this house somewhere because I haven't left the house the past few days and the last time I had it was literally on my bed but now it's gone. Like, I can't find it anywhere. So yeah, I was very upset when I lost my card. I've been looking for the past two days. I've cleaned my room like three times looking for the shit and it's literally just poof. It's gone, girl. It's gone. The shades I've been loving the most are all the shades in this palette, which I will have linked down below in case you want to pick any of them up. But the first shade I have here is in the shade Stay Golden, and it is this beautiful, deep reddish, plummy... I don't know how to describe this color. It's so beautiful, though. Like, I just... I live for these eyeshadows. They're so, so beautiful. But this one, more than any of them, I think, is my favorite. So I'm going to take Stay Golden. I'm going to apply it with my Wet n Wild blending brush. You only need a very small amount. These go such a long way with the small of amounts and I'm going to apply this on the outside corner of the eye and then blend a little bit of it towards the inner portion of the eye. now is I'm really really building up that color in the outside corner and then with whatever's left on the brush I'm just going to drag it towards the middle of the eye like so and then we're gonna start to blend it into the crease all right so now I'm gonna go into this deeper shade right here which is in the shade top notch and I'm gonna take that on a more precise brush which is right here and we're gonna apply that to the very very outside corner and then we're gonna take a blendy brush and we're gonna blend it going into the crease but we're not gonna pick up any excess product because what we want this darker shade to do is to just add some depth to the outside corner. That's all we wanted to do. Liners, my two favorite liners of all time. One is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is a felt tip liner to do my winged liner. And then my other liner is the Hikari Full Eyeliner. I use this for my waterline. I'm gonna tight line my upper lash line, do my waterline, do my winged liner, and then I'll be back here for mascara and lashes. All right, so as for mascara of the month, I have to give it to Pure Cosmetics, the Big Look Mascara. I love 
this mascara. I've never tried anything else by Pure Cosmetics, but I absolutely love how beautiful this mascara applies. I love how thick the brush is, and I just love how pitch black this mascara is. Like, it blends everything in so seamlessly as far as, like, my falsies and my natural lashes, because my natural lashes are black as hell, girl. Not only that, it does a beautiful job of making my falsies and my natural lashes look so full and voluminous. Voluminous? Voluminous? Also, in case you're wondering, the lashes I have on right now are the Ardell Demi Wispies, and these are my new favorite lashes of life. Like, I understand now why Nicole Guerrero swears by these lashes. I get it, because they're beautiful. They look natural, but they also add a little extra something solid to your look. You know what I mean? And now on to lippy combination of the month, which is probably going to surprise you guys if you've been a fan of my channel for a while. I don't normally do nude lips. They make me look dead. I avoid them like the Black Plague. However, I found a lip combination that works beautifully for me. The lip combination I'm going to be using for today's look is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the shade Bare It All. And then I'm going to top it off with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. That completes this look using all of my favorites for the month of May. Yeah, it's definitely May. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna get into my skincare products of the month. So the first thing I wanna talk about are these simple cleansing wipes because I have seen so many people on YouTube talk about these and rave about them and rant about them for so long. So when I saw these at my local Dollar General, I just about lost my shit. I picked them up. This is actually my second package. I've already used one package up already. And I use them every single night whether or not I wear makeup that day or not. And I absolutely love Love these these are amazing at removing makeup if you've never tried these simple wipes and you're someone who has sensitive skin these are gonna be the best option for you because these are made for sensitive skin but I just I love these so much girl so this next one is kind of weird because I don't normally talk about clothing items here in my channel but guys these pants are literally everything to me these are from Lula Row I think it's called my mother-in-law got these for me for Christmas and they are legitimately perfect for me because obviously lipsticks but if you've never tried a LuLaRoe pant I need you to go find one representative and order as many as you possibly can because I promise you your body will thank you the material they make these leggings out of is incredibly stretchy so comfortable and it's so soft and I'm somebody who cannot fall asleep with pants on but I've fallen asleep with these on and I felt so comfortable through the night which is very very weird for me but they're my favorite like I love them so much if I'm not wearing like jeans or shorts or whatever I'm usually always wearing these because they're so comfortable all right guys so the final two products I have for you guys are two products I got sent to me by my friend Alexis over at pure romance if you are interested in either of these products I'll have all the links down below for you guys but just as a quick intro pure romance is one of those brands kind of like Avon what makes this brand different is the fact that they are more of like the romance brand I guess you could say they offer adult toys they offer lingerie they offer different little oils and serums like my friend sent me this one. This is the Sensations Hot Buttered Rum Warming Lubricant. They offer those kind of things for adults. We're not going to get into that one just yet because I really haven't used it yet and I'm not really sure you guys want to hear about those kind of things. And because my best guy friend Ray watches these videos sometimes and I'm pretty sure he does not want to hear about his best friend's sex life. So with that being said, that will be for another day, another video. Alright guys, so the first product I have for you guys is the Coochie Pink Paradise Passion Fruit and Key Lime Conditioning Shave Cream. Now, this stuff has made my life so much better as far as like fighting irritation burns, which I suffer through all the time, especially near the Kuka area, girl. I myself get the really, really bad irritation burns, the ones that turn into like pimples almost in the hair follicle. And I've tried using so many different shave gels. This one is the most recent one that I been using before I use this one. This is the Gillette Satin Care Ultra Sensitive Irritation Defense Shave Gel. Now before I go any further, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you guys that this shave cream changed my life in one use. That's not the case whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I was very, very turned off by this because at first, I didn't see a difference in my skin. It actually took a few uses to really see how good this was for my skin because it's a conditioning shave cream. This is a gel, and while some of these gels are promised to be hydrated 
hydrating, very, very good for your skin. It's the formulation of the gel itself that makes it so drying. But this is literally a cream, guys. I'm gonna show you guys right now. A cream that conditions the shit out of your skin. Now, I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'm not gonna lie and say that this stuff has single-handedly changed my irritation burn problem, because it really hasn't, at least not completely. But I've noticed that my skin is a lot more hydrated, especially when I shave and moisturized. And I'm not getting as many really, really bad irritation burns because of it. I'm very, very certain because the only thing I've changed in my shaving routine has been this. And I've had less and less irritation burns, at least the really, really bad ones. So for that, this is definitely a favorite. The last product for you guys is the Body Dew Pink Paradise Passion Fruit and Key Lime Silky Body Oil. Now when I got this in the mail, obviously I was very skeptical because I was terrified of anything that wasn't like a natural oil. However, I am someone who suffers from like chronic dryness on my elbows. I have no idea why. However, I am someone who suffers from like chronic dryness on my elbows. I have no idea why. However, I am someone who suffers from like chronic dryness on my elbows. I have no idea why. So oils were the only way out for me as far as hydrating and getting like nice, smooth, healthy, rich looking skin. So the first time I tried this, I applied it on my elbows and I have to say I was very unimpressed by it just because once again it didn't work the first time for me but it took a couple of uses to really show what it could do for your skin and I'll go ahead and show you guys right now on my own skin number one the scent is incredible the smell of this smells like Victoria's Secret love spell I put it on my chest my decollete area I think that's what it's called but as you can see my skin just looks glowy it looks very beautiful natural glow from within kind of glow I love it so so much and the number one thing I love about this oil is the the fact that as opposed to the other oils that just leave a nasty like oily film on your skin this literally blends into your skin and really gets down deep and hydrates your skin very very nicely I'll spray it on the Chi Chi area to give some glow to the goyles but I just love how glowy it makes my skin look it looks so beautiful and healthy it feels beautiful and it feels healthy I just love it so so much so so if there's two products I think everyone should try from pure romance it is the body do silky body oil and the Coochie Conditioning Shave Cream. These two things are honestly so, so good to me. She did send a few other things that I'm still waiting to try out, but these two are the things I've been using the most that I just had to feature in this video. So all links will be down below as well as any coupon codes in case you're interested in either of these products. I will have these directly linked down below as well for you guys. But anyways, guys, that concludes my monthly favorites for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, obviously. If you have any questions, requests, Leave those all down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.